hello class now in this lecture we will see the construction and working of the drum brake in this figure we can see the cross sectional view of the drum brake assembly okay and uh, here right now uh, we will see first of all why it's called as a drum brake so in the figure the black portion which is shown here is nothing but called as a backplate or which the braking assembly is mounted with the help of the shoe hold down parts okay so these are the thing which holds a shoe on the back plate and this back plate is fixed to the casing or the vehicle axle through the bolting so there are provision made over here the holes are there okay and with the help of those holes it is fixed to the casing or we can say excel and over the this uh, assembly one drum is located which is normal to this plane okay one bowl is presented and on that bowl the road wheels are mounted rim of the road wheels is mounted so we are stopping that drum or we are stopping that bowl with the help of those liner so that's why it's called as a drum brake it's having a drum like construction okay so that's what's called as a drum brake now we'll see the major component of it drum is the one of the component on which your uh, rim is mounted and on that rim the wheel is uh, the tire is mounted okay wheel and the tire is two different thing wheel is nothing but the rim so rim is mounted on the drum and the on the wheel or on the rim tire is mounted okay so uh, this is this is uh, right now in the figure we are not shown the uh, the drum assembly okay we are just shown the part which is located on the back plate okay and the back plate is need to be a heavy enough to absorb the braking torque because against it only against the back plate only this liner are try to hold or try to halt the high, high the the heavy and the highly rotating uh, wheel to stop the vehicle okay so this back plate need to be heavy enough because it because of the back plate only the braking torque get absorbed okay otherwise if it is not make uh, strengthen enough then what will happen the back plate get cracked or the vehicle supposed to be a uh, move on further after even the applying the brake pedal okay so this thing is very important back plate is very important after that over the back plate the liner is mounted this is a drum brake so there is a liner which is a uh, which is uh, now indicated by the yellow color here so two two liner is there okay this is one liner okay and this is another is a this one is a second liner now the liner is made by a steel or the metal metal frame and on that and this metal frame is pivoted at two position one is the here i mean to say it is supported at two location one is the here and second is the here okay so this portion of this end of the liner is right now in the figure is movable okay and which is movable against the, this piston okay or this piston is called as a wheel cylinder assembly okay inside the wheel cylinder assembly there are two piston this this is a first piston this is a second piston okay whenever fluid or air pressure or pressure is introduced in between these two piston okay then this piston move outward uh, the first piston is moving in this direction and second piston moving in uh, opposite direction and they try to push the liner or this frame in away from the away from this center so the liner get move in this direction and this liner get moving in this direction okay so this is the moment uh, this is the moment take place by the liner another end of the liner is hinge over here or supported over here by adjacent assembly okay we will see the how adjacent assembly is work and both the liner are tensioned by or tighten towards the center with the help of those springs okay those are the primary retaining spring you can say okay retaining springs are there so those springs are keeping liner away from the uh, the drum or we can say this those springs are helps to pull the both the liner towards the center so if that uh, spring if those spring is not there then uh, the liner will will not be come back to its uh, 
release position or it's a initial position once the brake pedal is released so after the brake pedal is released those liner are uh, those springs are helped to pull back the liner to its uh, original position after that there is a adjusting cable are there which is again attached to the this this point okay and tension through this this way okay, the, uh, a tension through this cable guide and attached to attached to the at one of the end of the adjacent assembly okay we will see the how what is the uh, use of adjacent assembly for the after that there are pin shoe pin holders are there okay so this these things are holding the sh the liner on the back plate after that there is a one of the most thing which is present over here on the liner that is lining material so that gray color thickness you can observe okay which is from this uh, which is uh, present on the liner frame from this uh, end to the this end so this thicker this small gray color thickness is nothing but the lining material which is which is used to stop the vehicle or which is used to grab the drum if this lining material is not there then the, the vehicle uh, to stop the vehicle it is very difficult and that lining material is get wear out after the periodic operation of the braking okay so this lining material is very important okay if this lining material is not there there is no use of the this liner frame this liner frame is just employed to hold the lining material against the drum so this is very important uh, so whenever we say a line, liner get wear out so that time this material get completely wear out and that time we are just replacing the liner liner of the uh, your vehicle so this is the thing very important we place uh, plays very important role to stop the vehicle after the what what is uh, after the parking parking brake lever so this parking brake lever is presented uh, behind the this liner this liner and there is a one parking brake strut which is coming from the parking brake plate okay parking brake lever through it coming to the this side this parking brake strut okay which is also very uh, important while you are parking the vehicle we will see the use of that thing also but just remember where it is actually located after that okay so everything is uh, completed now in, in case of the construction if you uh, if we notice everything every part is now uh, completed now we will see the working of the normal working of the drum bit now this is the four figure you can see uh, here so in the first figure this thing this gray color thing is nothing but the drum this black color thing is nothing but the back plate on which your braking assembly is mounted now you can observe this gray color thing that is drum is supposed to be rotated at high speed as soon as i am applying the brake pedal or driver applying the brake pedal that time the piston present inside the wheel cylinder or get move outward okay it get move outward and pushing the liner towards the drum when it pushing the liner towards the drum that time the material which is present on the liner get in uh, get in touch with the drum okay and due to the friction between the material on the present uh, present on the liner and the drum the drum supposed to be stopped against the back plate okay back plate is not rotating back plate is stationary and the every uh, the liner is mounted on the back plate so the the part which is rotating is here is nothing but a drum so against the back plate the liner holding the rotating drum to stop it okay so you, here you can see the action how it take place this is a drum this is the drum okay now you can see how it happens what is the moment take how the moment take place at the uh, self adjusting system okay jo another another end hai hamare uh, shoe ka primary uh, hamare jo shoe hai jo connected hai another end pe through the adjacently system se connected hai so that there is a moment at the at that end okay you can notice now one thing here here you have to uh, remember that out of this 
two shoe one is a primary shoe or the, and the second is a secondary shoe or you can say one is a leading shoe and another is a trailing shoe now how to oh, how to how to remember which one is the leading and which was the training is very simple you can here you can see the the direction of rotation of drum is clockwise okay it is rotating in this fashion so whenever i am applying the brake pedal that time due to the operation of this wheel cylinder the both the liner get push away from the center and as soon as the material of the liners are get in contact with the uh, drum that time which shoe get pull outward and which which uh, which uh, shoe get pull towards the drum due to the moment and which shoe get throw away from the drum due to the moment is nothing but the on on that basis we can see it is a leading or the trading so here if this rotate in this direction okay if drum is rotated in this direction clockwise then then if if this liner are come into contact with this drum then this shoe get pull further towards the drum okay and this liner get thrown away from the drum due to the direction or direction of rotation of the drum so this one get thrown away from the drum and this one get pulled towards the drum so the shoe which is get pulled towards the drum is called as a leading leading shoe and the shoe which get thrown away from the drum is called as a trailing shoe so it get pulled towards the drum due to the direction of rotation of the drum if direction of rotation get opposite matlab anti clockwise agar ho gaya hamara direction drum ka then this shoe get pull towards the drum as soon as it come into contact with it and this shoe get thrown away from the drum as soon as it come in contact with it so that time this become leading and this become trailing so it is depend only on the direction of rotation of your what drum so whenever it is leading okay it there may be a design leading leading if we can uh, we can uh, make a such arrangement so both shoe get both shoe become a leading or we can make a such arrangement in which both shoe get trailing or one of the trailing or one of the leading that that may uh, that such uh, such arrangement we can make but it is only depend on the moment of the liner take place whenever we are applying the brake pedal ki agar wo throw ho raha hai drum ke se away ya wo drum ke towards pull ho raha hai on that basis we can say the configuration whether it is leading leading or trailing trailing or leading trailing configuration hai now in this case it is a leading trailing configuration because one of the liner get leading and another get trailing so now what is the benefit of leading it get self energized brake means driver only need to put a effort only to make a contact of liner leading leading liner and the drum matlab driver ko utna hi effort lena hai jisse leading shoe ka drum se contact ho baki ka bacha hua pura kaam wo shoe khud karega okay so because of that uh, because of that and as soon as driver release the brake pedal the spring will pull the leading shoe and the trailing shoe both towards the center so drum get release okay but jab braking action hota hai that time the leading shoe plays very important because self energized brake hai kyunki driver ko sirf uska aur drum ka contact karke dena hai that much effort only needed okay other other effort is taken by the direction jo bhi ro, ro, uh, moment hai drum ka wo khud hi us uh, liner ko khud ke taraf pull uh, pull ya attract kar leta hai because of that brake apply ho jata hai so this is the important of the leading shoe okay now we'll see that uh, how the hand brake or the parking brake is working okay so this is a parking brake mechanism jo ki humne dekha hai yahan ki this is a parking brake uh, strut is there parking brake lever is, lever is there okay and uh, one another end of the parking brake lever is connected to the wire which is leaded to which is guided towards the uh, passenger or sorry, driver cabin and it is connect uh, its end is connected to this lever hand lever okay so jo ye bahar ja raha hai ek this is this is nothing but the wire which is connect to connected to the this end of this lever okay whenever whenever driver pull this lever backward okay that time this wire get pull in this direction 
okay and this is a parking brake lever this is parking brake wire which is connected to the hand lever which is present in the uh, which is present beside the driver this parking brake lever is hinge over here one of uh, one of the shoe and from it one strut is having contact with another shoe so this is a strut which is straight uh, straightly welded over this lever okay and it having a contact with this another shoe okay it is in always in contact with the another shoe whenever we are pulling this thing this wire is pulled by the driver okay that time against this pivot against this pivot or hinge one of the, another end of the lever get move in this direction when it get move in this direction first of all this strut pushing this side liner towards drum against the spring okay against the spring once this side liner get in contact with the drum then against this contact with the further pulling of the wire this end get push opposite direction so first of all this liner get in contact with the drum once it get contact with the drum then with the further pulling of the wire this end of the lever okay parking lever pushing another liner towards the drum okay and as soon as we release this button after pulling backward completely it get locked at that position so it means our parking bed bracket applied which is shown by dashboard by this symbol okay so this is this symbol is shown on the dashboard as soon as you are engaging the parking brake so it is just a very simple mechanism lever is there okay through one end one of the end of the lever is connected to the wire this wire is further guided into the driver cabin and connected to this hand lever okay this lever is having one of the strut which having contact always with the another liner okay and as soon as you are supposed to pull this thing that time due to the moment of this end the strut also will move some what and pushing this liner against the drum once it get contact with the drum against this contact with the further pulling of the wire this end get push in this direction okay this end get push in this direction and it responsible to push the liner e1 towards another liner uh, e1 towards the drum which is which responsible to handbrake is applied or it is shown by this symbol on the dashboard okay so this is a simple uh, working of the parking brake mechanism now we will see the how the adjuster assembly is working so this is the adjuster assembly okay which is present at the another end here okay you can notice over here how it works this is the adjuster assembly so this is a adjuster system this is this is one, one one screw is there okay on the screw there is one star star shape nut is present over the over this screw one star shape nut is present when we rotating that nut okay when we rotating that nut the length of this screw is changes okay when the length of the screw changes when the length of the screw is changes that time those liner become push away from the center whenever we are changing we are, whenever we are rotating this knot star shape knot that time length of the screw it changes if it in a, the length of the screw is increased that time both liner get push away from the center matlab wo kya hoga agar iska length bad gaya is screw ka then ye liner away from the center travel karenge away from the away from the uh, center move honge means what happen the distance between drum and the liner get reduces if we shorten this screw then the both draw, both liner get pull towards the center or it come towards the center somewhat so distance between drum and the uh, drum and the liner get increases okay so ye kis liye hai 
this is the star shaped screw okay uh, star shaped or not and this is the screw whenever we are rotating this thing this length of the screw is increases length of the screw is increases and this thing is need to adjust a distance between liner and the drum abhi liner or drum ke beech mein ka distance kab adjust karna hai as i told you there is a material is present on the frame of the liner shoe okay jab liner shoe or liner shoe ke upar jo material present hai agar uska wear ho raha hai to because of that kya honga distance between drum and the shoe will increases and jitna distance between shoe and the liner bad gaya utna kya hone wala hai hamara breaking response breaking time bad jayega okay so uneven wear hoga material ka so to keep the distance between or the gap between or the clearance between drum and the liner at optimum value or optimum level with respect to the wear of the material we have to adjust it automatically we have to adjust it and this thing is done by automatically with the help of this system which is called as adjuster system okay which is called as a here we have seen adjuster assembly or adjuster system now how it work whenever the distance between or gap between drum and the liner is more than the uh, required level due to the wear of the material that time this lever okay whenever we are applying the brake that time we are applying the brake till the end jab tak ye hamara liner is drum ko touch nahi kar raha us up to this point tak hum hum kya karenge usko brake pedal ko push karenge aur brake pedal ko dabayenge and when we are applying the brake pedal that that time that time this lever okay this lever okay this lever is hinge over here at the same time this lever another end is connected to this cable adjuster cable to a uh, cable guider to the this point okay and whenever we are applying the brake pedal and the liner get touched uh, liner when, whenever liner touch to the touching to the drum okay by after negotiating the excessive gap between them that time the another end of the lever get move in upward direction वो अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन मूव होता है वेन एवर इट गेट मूव इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन दैट टाइम वन ऑफ द टीथ बाय वन ऑफ द टीथ द दिस नट गेट रोटेटेड बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस लीवर ओके यू कैन सी हियर द पोजिशन ऑफ द लीवर दिस एंड ऑफ द येलो लीवर इज हियर एंड हियर पोजिशन ऑफ द लीवर इज हियर ओके सो वॉट हैपन वेन ब्रेक पेटल इज अप्लाइड दैट टाइम इट इज going downward direction and as soon as brake pedal is release this lever come in up up direction okay you can notice the position of this lever this lever, yellow color jo lever hai uska end ka position aap notice kar sakte ho this is here okay so whenever it happens that time this nut get rotated by one thread and due to that the dis due to that the distance between or gap excessive gap created between the liner and the drum get adjusted adjust get adjusted with the help of this adjusting screw so the length of the adjusting screw is increases by one thread and the dis respect to gap between drum and the lining material get reduces and it re reaches to their optimum value so whenever the wherever uh, whenever the uh, the wear get take place that time it is it is make a increment by the one thread okay and if if there is no wear that time also uh, with respect to the application of the brake pedal this thing is making a movement up and down but that time it uh, their movement is not touching to the any single thread any single uh, teeth of the this screw it just it just moving up and down without touching to the teeth of the this screw but whenever excessive gap is there that time due to the uh, periodic uh, due to the number of uh, breaking cycle during the number of breaking cycle the excessive gap get filled and that time only the screw or uh, the end of the uh, this lever get in contact with the one of the thread of this nut 
and it get rotated and with respect to that the length of the screw get increased okay so this is the oh, this thing is only happen whenever the excessive gap is generated in between the liner and the drum due to the wear of the lining material okay so this is a thing which is take place automatically no need to uh, interfere the driver inspection no need to uh, no need to monitor driver uh, every time only thing is that whenever there is a uh, whenever the entire material on the frame get wear out now here green color is green color indicating the frame steel frame and this thing that gray color thickness is nothing but a lining material okay here green color is nothing but a frame material which is made by steel on which the lining material is all bolted or riveted in this specifically it is riveted only okay so whenever this entire material get wear out that time only driver need to be a inspect or the replace the frame or the replace the uh, this lining uh, uh, this liner or the brake shoe otherwise everything get adjusted till the 1 mm thickness of the material by this adjusting material okay so this is the drum brake construction and working and there uh, their uh, respective mountings which is present on the drum brake. Now we will uh, see further another configuration. Okay, this is one of the configuration of the drum brake. This this is a leading leading. Okay, this is leading leading design. Now there are the, there are the total five conf configuration: leading trailing, leading trailing, leading leading or trailing trailing, two leading that is leading leading. And leading training so there are total five configuration are present in which uh, something is fixed something is floating so fixed expander type so jo, ye jo expander hai, wo fixed hai. okay and the, uh, the anchor is floating so jo, is case mein kya hua? Hota tha here our anchor is fixed anchor is not moving expander is fixed and sorry uh, expander is fixed and anchor is also fixed so this is the leading trail okay it's a leading abhi anchor fix hai means slip uh, self adjusting system hai isliye wajah se wo kya hai uh, thoda sa move kar raha hai but we are considering it is a fixed if we are uh, instead of self adjusting material if we uh, just pivoted over here this shoe and this shoe then it will become a fixed at uh, uh, expander and the uh, uh, fixed uh, anchor okay so this end is expander and this thing is an anchor you can say so here fixed expander type so expander fixed here so configuration that was seen in the uh, here is nothing but the leading trailing type after that leading trailing floating expander types Kis, uh, kisi, kisi, uh, jo expander hoda, that is that one is a floating so in, in that case it that will be a leading trailing now here the expander is fixed okay but here two anchor is present this one is the fixed anchor and this one is the floating anchor so two anchors are there this one is the anchor and this is another anchor so this anchor is fixed and this anchor is the floating and this is the expander so whenever brake is applied that time the rod is come out this is a piston rod which is pushing this liner and if we having the rotation of the drum in this direction then this should get pulled towards the drum and this shoe also get pulled towards the drum because direction of rotation is this okay uh, anchor is present at this point so this anchor is moving this anchor is fixed so this liner get pulled towards and this liner also get pulled towards the drum so both are the leading but if the rotation of the drum get opposite opposite and uh, direction may rotate ho, that is clockwise may rotate ho, that time this both liner get thrown away so that time this system get become trailing trailing okay so on the basis of the low configuration of the expander and the anchors the system may be a leading trailing leading trailing leading leading or trailing trailing leading or leading trailing so this is the thing okay so better way we have a uh, at least one leading and another trailing shoe in our road base because we we seen that the leading shoe other has to it, it become a self inert as brake driver need to put a very less effort so if if you are having both the trailing trailing system then driver need to be put extra effort in such system braking system you have to some assistant force okay because of that driver effort get 
reduces and that is assisting force will apply the excessive force to stop the vehicle so whenever trailing trailing is there that time you need to be have assistant force but whenever at least one leading is there assistant force is not that much required to the braking system okay so have you understood the drum type braking system thank you